might be able to see it's live. That looks good. Okay. We're ready. Um, Kia ora koutou katoa. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. My name is Black Sean, and I am very sick. I don't know if you can tell. Well, I'm not very sick, but it does sound Bro, like I'm dying. The voice is completely gone. <laughs> no. He's... So, oh, hey, hey, Cody. <laughs> what up? Um, What's good, gang? What are you, what are you doing in here? This is not mass selection research. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wrong. Oh. You're in the wrong. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no, whoopsie. This is what happens when you can see all the VCs. Well, um, I'm joined here with, uh, I'm joined here with Dig TV. Hello, hello. For Here's our I. first, um, communal casting session. I'm gonna Real. try my best to make uh, my way through this, but, uh, Hopefully you guys can deal with the voice because it's... I'm gonna be your your D1 yapper today. Yeah, I'm passing my job over to uh, Dig to do most of the talking. Uh, oh, I'm God. just here to make sure everything runs smoothly and we have a a, a layout which is um, uh, of of <laughs> if, if efficient quality. If I had the quality. layouts, I would be streaming. Yeah, it, it, but that isn't the case. So. No. Street Sharks versus Rat Tactics, because we were a little bit late, we can just go straight into Rat Selection now. Ooh, Hi guys. Hello. Oh, oh hey. hey. Wait, Black Shot's hosting? Oh, yeah, this I'm, is the best uh, day of my life. This is the best I, day of my life. Uh, Actually, the best issue day is I'm life. sick, so it's not. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. I'm you know, the yapper today. It, <laughs> you know what? It's it could fine. be better, but... Yeah, oh yeah, I'm actually right. really sick. I hope you're okay, actually. No, I'm alright. <laughs> but, um... As long as you can scream, then you're good. I, okay, I, I, can't, I can't scream, but... Guys, you, I have exactly 4,444 kills. So I thought you were going to say you have exactly 4,444 ping. I was going to say that's an issue. That'd be oh, awful. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Someone said Street Sharks was home, uh, and I'm just gonna believe them. So, Street yeah, Sharks, what true. is your roster? Uh, it is me, Rotom, Tor, and Oslain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who gave you permission to do map selection, buddy? Uh, me. I gave myself permission, so shut your mouth. Nah. Enjoy yourself, buddy. And Rat Tactics, uh, your lineup. Um, we are Alex the Drew, D. Cody, Mass Marvelous, and Land and Legends. Right, as always. Save us Land and Legends. Okay, uh, let me bring up the thing. Sorry, I kind of forgot how this works. It's been a long time. Um, so, Street Sharks, what will be your first band? Now. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Just... What? Shut what up. happened? Now, we banned Canal. Well, I don't know what you're on about. Canal? No, okay. Buddy, I'm doing Mass Selection. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, is it still- is Canal staying, though? No, we're doing Canal. <laughs> uh, you, like, we're banning what, it, we're banning it. Yeah, 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 okay, good. Um, <laughs> that, that, yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. First, that's true. Oh, the second ban. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ban Watermill? Watermill, okay, Watermill's out. Okay, So, okay. Canal, Watermill Crossbow. gone. Street Sharks, what is your first pick? Prison. Prison in, and Rat Tactics. No, it's like... <laughs> I see some slow? crazy TNT cannons. Yep. Okay, that leaves uh, all the two wide maps. Okay. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to check something real quick. Yeah, you check this whatever you I need to check. At least Paint Factory, Haunted House, and Goldmine. Yeah, that, that's the maps. <laughs> wait. Uh. You should totally uh, not have Paint Factory be the third. <coughs> yeah, I'm all for anything, okay? I won't <laughs> complain. Okay, ban uh, we're gonna ban Haunted. Banning Haunted, and then what is your last ban, Rat Tactics? Uh, Paint Factory. Paint Factory and Goldmine is the finale. How exciting. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> good luck, and... Good yeah, luck, and most importantly, have luck. fun. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Okay. Who's casting? It's me, Burb. You just right can't already. recognize me, because... Yeah. 
sharks out of water. See, only Pony can think of these kind of things. <laughs> okay. I think... Are we ready to go? We have one of the... Oh, I didn't ask for plobby leaders. Oops, my bad. Oh. Uh, one of the parties is already in the plobby. Um, I think. Yeah. Okay, at least Glue's here to help us. See, I always forget plobby leaders or party leaders. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm a little out of it. But be like that. I probably would forget to ask too, considering I've never done it before, so. Yeah, so we're going into the game with Prison Slay and Goldmine Canal Ban immediately. Obviously, we've just seen um, Rat Tactics come off of uh, a 3 0 in Canal to win a game against the undefeated team cooking with Greece. So. They've proved that their canal is quite something, and they've really started to pull out the rat tactics, dear you would say, oh. on some of these maps, right? Because they... I would have to agree. Yeah, I was... I think that rat tactics is honestly... I feel like they're kind of sleeper OP right now. I feel like they have all the names on paper to be, like, really, really good, and they just need to continue executing on being that good team that people think that they are, and, like, know that they are. Mm. And okay, before any, one thing before anyone uh, complains in chat, uh, I I I'm like it was very short notice. I I, I really shouldn't be here, but like I, I am. Okay, We've got so. nobody. <laughs> Everyone's like gone. It, I, I'm I'm here to fill in fill in the job. Okay, if there if there were other people, then then it would have gone to them. But it's it's whatever. Anyway, prison. I don't even know if we've seen rat tactics on prison yet. They use their water. They use their ban on watermill. So, um, one of the rat tactics um, supporters in chat, the hundreds of them, can tell me whether or not they've played I'm on prison. I'm trying to think of yesterday. Yesterday, I believe was just it was two o. It was canal and something. Forget the other haunted map. house. Haunted house. Yeah, it's haunted. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't think we have seen Rat Tactic on Prison. Mm. And there's no crossbow. I'm like 99. I, there's no crossbows on Prison, right? Or unless I'm tripping. I don't they think play, there's any Okay, no, they, they have played Prison. They have played Prison. But they haven't it's played... Pr they may have not played Prison since uh, their, um, their run of uh, five wins or six wins straight. See, I'm not exactly sure. But... Yeah, but with with no crossbow, that's definitely gonna bring mass to a little disadvantage because I know they're like the crossbow god of the IBL. Well, I mean, so hey, I, there's there's a lot of debate up for that title in um, the true, IBL. I'm true, sure true. you could look at the bow KD section and hey, there's a lot of definitely strong contenders for the title. I wouldn't uh, be too versatile, um, or no, I would rather be versatile with the the use of that, but. We will be going on to prison. This is my favorite of the cutscenes, by the way. I don't get to use it very often. And um, I'm just waiting to see how these people do, because I've seen Street Sharks on this map before, but I can't see that I have seen Rat Tactics on it before. So, we'll see how this goes. Going into this, Rat Tactics is going to be on pink for this game, and Street Sharks will be on aqua. Rat Tactics wins this. They will secure second in the division. Right now, they are tied with Hang Ten at five and three. Yes, so we got Landon and D Cody going down, looking for a two v one attack over here in the back. Oh no, my uh, glowing's not on. Lines with Rotom. Landon getting getting pressed on by Rotom, but Rotom falling to Landon. Uh, Landon on half HP, D Cody on nine point five. Arrows going around everywhere. Playing on I think six and a half. Four on three, now on three, five. but Tor goes for the kill on Mask, gets it, and now and it's Rat actually looking a little better. It. Going in, it's it's one shots, it's one shots. Landon just needs to get it, he does. Um, and now it's just Tor. Down goes Tor, and then this round one goes to Rat Tactics. Yeah, Rat Tactics actually, while still coming out on top, they were playing the early game. They are a lot less aggressive. You could see two people on the Street Sharks immediately run up to the side, um, with the yes. water elevator. But no, all Rat Tactics well, were staying in this spot. It was very well communicated too, sending uh, Landed and Decody down. I, I imagine, you know, they saw them just like, they saw Street Sharks just come up. So like, okay, let's send two people down and let's guard that flank by having that up advantage and down advantage. 
Yes, so that you'll be too split. that's going to put Rat Tactics up 1-0, and they are definitely going to like that. Obviously, this being their off map, and now that they know they can win a round, they just need to search for what they've been doing right, and even if they think that there were some flaws in that round, they know that they can win on it, so that's going to be as much mental as you can ask for going into round two. Alright, and speaking of, here we go. Looking to see some comeback from Street Sharks. We're looking to see from Rock Tactics to kind of put this map not on ice. You know, round two, we've seen reverse sweeps. I think there was a reverse sweep yesterday, actually. Oh God, uh, Landon going in, getting a quick crit off. Landon Legends is saving us right now. Landon Legends no longer saving us as they no drop, but it's a lot us, of he damage. He gets a block down, and then him and, him and Mass take down Rotom. Yeah, but Slane uh, pushes on Cody. Everywhere. Mass getting another shot, but on half HP, but yeah. gets intercepted by Alex to kill Slane. And yeah. round two goes to Rat there Tactics. There we go. That is another solid round for Rat Tactics. Only losing one person there. Landon Legends going in, getting dropped. But do not forget, they put a lot of people on very low HP. I cannot recall who it was. I think it was Tor and either Rotom or Jay yes, Sharp I there. Was, I think it was Because they were both on 4 and 3 HP. Mass immediately capitalized off of that, shooting yeah, even, one of even them. Even if you're gonna die, if you're doing a lot of damage, you're still doing your job. Mm. It's like, kills are nice, but they aren't... They, obviously, kills are important, but if you can... If you're doing two and a half health bars of damage, let's say you don't get any kills, but you're still doing in total two and a half health bars of damage, you're still doing more than enough to have your team clean up and have your team uh, win the round. Yeah, and at the end of the day, the people in IBL, they know how to play the game. If you try and run out, they're not going to let you run out. So if you are low and in a fighting battle, you may as well keep fighting it rather than trying to get out. Yeah, you're because... not running away is completely useless. Yeah. <laughs> Going into rounds. Right off, that's still better than doing nothing. We see Rat Tactics actually uh, a little more, more aggressive damage this goes time. Over here, hits Slane. Oh, I'm getting blinded. Uh, and and, and Alex, Alex going up. up. On, on Alex, but landed on yeah, one they managed to drop to Tor, but Landon falls. To decoding, but and it's going to be a fell. There we go. While two of them were on the mid, up. they were fighting up the top there, and all of the Street Sharks essentially were in that section, so they had all the mid Surprise control and they fell. took it. So that puts... And that's a clean map. Puts Rat Tactics up 1-0. Mm -hmm. And they've not touched the pr the, um, the prison map in quite a while. So to know that they can still put it up 3-0 against a team which definitely likes prison. I can tell you that. They are going to be very happy with that. And it looks like the Street Sharks have... Um, no plans to stop the undefeated run at the moment. Undefeated run being as of their yeah, whenever they streak. lost they're, their three. Like they started 0-3, and now they're 5-3. They want to keep this going. Yeah, of the course. The division is not going to win itself. And, and although they're done with their games with Cooking with Grease, so it's, it's definitely going to be hard to see Cooking with Grease drop a couple of games, considering they've only dropped one, two one game to Rad Tactics, they split the series. Mm. So they, they may not be able to win the division if Cooking with Grease doesn't like completely fall apart and like drop two, three, four games or whatever. Um, but even securing that second seed will definitely be helpful because let's say you win that playoff game, you're not going up against Cooking with Grease until like finals in your division. Mm. See, I don't think about these kind of things in playoffs. Um... I'm just I'm a I'm a I'm an in the moment kind of guy. <laughs> I feel but. you. I feel you. No in playoffs like playoff talk. I think it can it can start to happen now. We're like halfway through the season. If like early season, oh you lost a game. Oh you lost two games. That's fine. You know halfway through the season, it's like okay playoffs. Games are huge now. Like games can define if your momentum is going to stay on the path of going to the playoffs or if you're going to lose momentum and completely crumble. I'm really hoping we don't see that with Cooking with Grease because I know their early game or their early season and mid-season is going pretty well. I would, would hate to see their loss to Rat Tactics kind of just it crumble their season. Mm. I mean, I don't think Cooking with Grease will be planning to fall anytime soon, of course. They did have Brunted off for the game. While that may have not been the determining <laughs> factor, that is something to note. Yes. And also, as well as that, Rat Tactics have been on pristine 
form over the last however many games, so they are a tough team to beat. It's hard now to come to any conclusions based off of that. Slay is such an IBL coded map. There is so much on this map. It's so busy. Like, this map is honestly, like, I don't know. It's just like it was made for this. It's like, honestly perfect. I'm not a big Slay defender or Slay fan. I like the map a little bit just because I've gotten better at playing at it. But I feel like there is so much that can happen on Slay. But it is very, it is very good. It's like kind of make or break. Like you either do really, really good on Slay or you just like are not good at all. Yeah, well, we're going to be seeing this now because round one, this is the Rat Tactics map pick. Alex doesn't see that orb, sorry, Mass doesn't see that orb goes up into it, but we'll still get that pot. You have a two, two on two split over here. J Sharp's going down to Landon, but D Cody falling to Rotom. There is a block in the middle, but Alex quickly replaces it and is now just going for fills. Rotom knocks him off. Oh, Rotom wow, they're really going to need to deal with Rotom can quick. Rotom, can Rotom get this? He's on point five. Oh. He, he does fall to Mass, and that is it. That was a they do close get back. They call. Do get on top. That was really close. And also, Landon getting a 3k there, but. A lot of the fights there were just pr um, pressuring on the mid. That was who, yeah, mid. who get mid. And at the end of the day, it was almost, almost Rotom who came um, in clutch for the Street Sharks and brought that one home with that was a, a very good call. clutch fill. Yes, that was a good call by Rotom too to go for that. Yeah, definitely the you right thing in that three v one. But uh, that means that Rack Tactics will be up. 1-0 on the second map, Street Sharks, if that fill goes, that they're going to really, really like the position that they're in, considering that they're down a map, they needed that. Now they're down rounds and down a map, it is not looking the best for them, but... Not looking the best, but it is only, it's the first round, you know you have at least two rounds to play. I feel like Street Sharks can take a round. It would be kind of insane to see Rag Tactics go back to back flawless games. Uh, also, there's an orb over here thrown on the right side. is pre-gapping, by the way. Nothing. Uh, Mass gets the harming pot. It is now looking for the stair side. It jumps down and gets gets a quick kill over oh, here. Oh, but they're so filling. Just go for the fill. They, they do get, get it. it. This time, the fill does go. I was distracted on that 2v2 going on there, in which a lot of I, people I did end up dropping. But yeah. Joel and Tor were not part of that 2v2 because... That was the distraction to get them onto the middle, and it worked. And while the clutch pot from Mass manages to get, uh, it was it was J Sharp that uh, managed to um, uh, be found by that pot. Tor was not, and in the heat of the moment, manages to get those last two blocks in and keeps uh, this keeps this a uh, little bit of hope going for Street Sharks. Maybe they can pull yes. this map back now. Yeah, I, I, I saw my eye on the fill. I was like, okay, maybe fill or whatever. But one thing I would have to notice is Street Sharks threw a pre-orb over by the water bubble elevator, which, I mean, I can understand pre-orbing, but that pre-orb kind of just goes just to waste. Now. <laughs> like, pre-orbing smart, but it's also like you need to save that util. They go for the pre-orb on the right side as well, but I don't really like that pre-orb because... If you're a rat tactic, you're going to want to stay in spawn and kind of bow a little bit so where that orb goes to waste. Mass does get the pot as well and is now in a 1v1 with slain. Pot completely whiffs. It's now a full-on 1v1. Uh, Rotom over here on half a heart. They're going mid again. Decody knocks him off, gets two blocks in though. Uh, Mass landed in Decody, all getting kills. Can we get a team ace action going on here if Alex gets a kill? Landon gets killed by slain. Mass gets well, killed by slain, be a but fill anyway. he just finishes the film. Slain looking for the 1v4 dream there, but with someone on mid, at the end of the day, it's IBL. People are going to just want to fill, so you need to look a little exactly. bit more in the mid. But we can't blame them. So, Street Sharks are going to call a timeout, and rightfully so. They are one round off of this, and they need to change something. Rotom is still pre-gapping going into some of these fights. I'm not sure how that is working out for yeah, them. I'm not going to say I, it's I, a bad I... thing. I understand pre-gapping, so you just have the two extra hearts, but like in the early game, it's slow, it's bowing, it's not going in. If you, you I'd say, I would, I, I, I like, I understand pre-gapping, but I don't like pre-gapping before the round. I'd say pre-gapping before your team goes in would be a better decision, or if you're going to go for a fill, 
and you know your team's going for the fill pre-gap and then calm that you're going for the fill so you have those two extra hearts and that little bit of regen on the back end of the gap um while you go in for the fill yeah and as well as that to note as well as pre-gapping they are really liking trying to pre-orb as well but the thing is they miss th this there's kind of a key play that they they kind of need to um, integrate into that into that pre-orb because while they're pre-orbing the right side, they're not pushing up for the pot there. Mass waited for the orb to go off. Yes, that, and that, that's what I was that's what I was mentioning. Went up yeah. the water tower, but still managed to get the pot because there was no contention on the other side. If you're gonna pre-orb that, it feels like you almost want to go for the you pot. You have to full send it. Yeah, you have to full send it. And if you can see that they're not, they're waiting for the orb to go off, or they're they're staying back, you can pre-orb that, and then you just go. You're gonna get you. You have a higher chance of getting there first if you know they're gonna stay there, or if you know they're gonna stay there, go and don't pre-orb, but like start heading over there. And you see mass going up. It's like okay, now I'll orb to orb them off of the pot. And even if they get the pot, they are risking get, taking six hearts of damage from just a point blank orb. Sure, and of course with all of these orbs. With all, and of all of this mid pressure, they, it feels like they almost want to be saving the orbs for any mid pressure. But they did call a timeout, so that means that they've got something new. What is it going to Rotom be? Rotom does pre gap once more, gets hit by a glowing orb. The orb actually connects yeah. with Mass and does that six hearts of damage. Mm -hmm. That's four HP on Mass, 4.5. Now, if Slane can find that shot, it's very close. But it going is for looking. Mid, though, but Decody, I think that's Decody. Oh, they off, do get they it. Get the they were rapidly dropping, and they put their their uh, they gambled. They put a massive gamble on that because if that doesn't go, it is curtains closed. But it does just manage to go, and this Play is what rack tactics are going to be too. seeing now. Both of Street Sharks' wins are due to these fills, so they're going to want to really know how the rat tactics know how to adapt. They easily know how to adapt. The, and at the end of the day, the easiest kind of strat to adapt towards is people rushing and filling mid. You just need to put a little extra control on that. They can just send even one person to make sure that they are eyeing that down. They're going to need to do that. Street Sharks, will they go for the same thing? Will they go for something new for this fifth round? Yep. Now I'm liking the fight out of Street Sharks too. They are not giving up. That timeout was clutch. I think if they get this here, they have, a, they do have a good chance at winning on Goldmine if they can win this and get momentum back in their favor. We will find out. Now we see Rat Tactics actually playing a little bit closer in spawn. Still no aggression from Street Shots for that. Rotom with the oh. pre-gap and pre-throws the pot, but completely whips because nobody's on that side. Yeah, that and now we have Landon looking in on the middle. Once more. Deco and it looks like it might just be Rat Tactics who get mid, and, and that is going for the fill and they will be the game. It yeah, it looks like the roles were reversed in that last round, and it ended up being Rat Tactics who got that mid domination. They put a lot of attentiveness onto the middle, so much that they actually just had it all to themselves anyway. And that means that Rat Tactics bring home a, another game and remain on this winning streak. For six games now, they win the map three to two, and the game two nil. No. Well done to Rack Tactics. B G. And very, very, very strong showing from them because you can just look at the kills on that game and know that Street Sharks, a lot of their play was in strategy and trying to use. The, the their mid control to get away with some of these things right but you have to realize that when you look at these kills it really tells a different story because the most that anyone had um the most kills that anyone had on the street sharks was two the least that anyone had on rat tactics was four seeing the kills we have landon on eight alex on six mass on five cody on four but street sharks Joel, Slain, and Tor all on two, and Rotom on one. So, you when you look at those stats again, it doesn't tell the entire story, but there is an undeniable juxtaposition between those two, those two stat lines, because I think that helps to show that 
a lot of what Street Sharks was going for there were these little plays to try and get the mid pressure and some of them worked there, there was definitely some of them working there especially on Slay we saw them take home two rounds and really give Rat Tactics some pressure there but at the end of the day the Rat Tactics dominance remains in place and they bring home another win they're really going to like that. Landon, I was just saying the stats, but I'll give you the exact stat line for every single person. We have, from the Street Sharks, we have Joel at 2 and 5, Slain at 2 and 5, Tor on 2 and 7, Rotom 1 and 6, Rat Tactics, Cody 4 and 1, Mass 5 and 2, Alex 6 and 0, oh, and if they manage to catch up on, on it, or they're still doing it, Landon Legends getting a Twitter post secured with 8 and 4. W. Putting up a lot of kills, but will you people can argue whether they think that an eight and four or six and zero oh is a better performance? Because a lot of what Landon was doing, even in some of the rounds, especially on prison, was in, in that one notable round that I can remember at least. Went in, didn't get any kills, died, but got two people to three HP, and instantly Mass yeah. could just pick them off. It was round round two, I think that was. So. That shows that, I mean, hey, they know what they're doing. Rat Tactics definitely know what they're doing. These people have probably pulled out some strategies from the from the very, very depths, and they have uh, they are doing some unexpected things. So people are really going to have to try and look at what Rat Tactics are doing. I feel like, I mean, maybe the strat is going to be VOD reviewing it now. Hello, VOD reviewers, if you're there, because... I mean, above, these guys above, yeah. are pulling out some Film things watchers. that own, that can only be um, able to be like recognized in if you're actually looking back on it, because you can't just hop into a game and expect that Rat Tactics is going to do some of the things that they do, because if what they're doing doesn't go well, they just snap of the finger they're doing something different. That's the thing. Because this team is very good with their adaptability. They can just do yes. something completely different in the blink of an eye, so it's gonna work. And that, you know, that, that timeout helped out Street Sharks, but you know that also gives Rad Tactics a timeout as well. And, uh, I mean, with this, that secures Rad Tactics second in the division, at least for now. Street Sharks, I believe they're still fourth, tied with the Tavern, but you really gotta be concerned for what the future of the season's gonna look like. That fight for the fourth seed is going to be interesting. I mean, you can kind of assume that Golden Goldens are going to be out just the way their season's going. So it's going to be that fight for the 4C between Street Sharks and Tavern is going to be really difficult. It's going to be hard. So it's going to try to, it's basically, you know, better team gets the spot. I think Street Sharks put a nice showing out here for a riding high Rat Tactics team at now a six game win streak. Hmm. So I think they can continue that. You know, Street Sharks, the loss wasn't too terrible. I mean, you brought it to a game five against a team that just completely rolled cooking with Grease yesterday. I think, you know, don't have your spirits completely destroyed. You're still fighting for that playoff spot, and the season's only halfway through. Like, you know, there's still plenty of time to bring it back. They also don't need to worry about finding rat tactics again, unless, of course, they meet in the finals. But for the main, uh, for the meantime, in these just week sessions, we're completely disregarding playoffs, so that will be the only time that Rat Tactics and Street Sharks will meet. But, I mean, that's. The, I, I guess that kind of um, can, concludes our game, and also something I wanted to look at if I'm interpreting what Froggy said in chat correctly, uh, Street Sharks have ended. A, another streak that Rat Tactics had, which was a round winning streak. A round winning, yeah. In which they had won, I guess before this, 21 or 22 rounds in a row. And <laughs> I, I was not aware of that. I had not realized that Rat Tactics was on a round winning streak with, I guess that means their last three games were 6 0 sweeps, which is bizarre to think. So, I mean, hey, at least Street Sharks has that going for them. But to conclude, yeah. that is the end of that game. In round, Rap Tactics wins 6 2 and 2 0 in maps. So, that is going to be the end of that stream, the end of this day, because that sadly is the only game that we have. But 
tomorrow if you would care to tune in. There are actually two games that will be on both B leagues. We have uh, Mousetrap versus Antarctic Gladiators. I f feel like Mousetrap is something and one like they've won almost every single game except one and antarctic hey, gladiators i believe i believe i believe you I know think, i'm totally not playing tomorrow but you know like you know i believe i think this is i mean while it sounds crazy to say is this not the cooking with grease versus not turtles of the b league this is the strongest uh, is are these not the first place teams in both leagues uh night we lost to night vision last week so night vision's first uh, in the volcanic division but still, you know, we're a strong team. We have a strong B-League. We as in Antarctic Gladiators, that is the team I'm on. But still, I mean, B-League is really competitive. Um, I Unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't be there for our game against Night Vision. But I know that, you know, put up a fight. It's it's very tough in our division and in the Coastal Divisions. This, tomorrow will be a good game against Mousetrap. Mm. And but I do think, yeah, what Froggy said, I do think it's being moved to Sunday. Oh, that's a shame. Well, but either way, it's one still gonna be that a good game. You might guys not should, be you know, moved to Sunday. At least some, uh, is some big TV Serpens, support in the chat. Serpens versus Night Vision. Now talking about the last one being statistically the uh, strongest looking game for the B League. Serpens versus Night Vision. Night Vision, just you, as you just mentioned, is now the top reigning team in the Volcanic Division and in the Coastal Division. While it is still Mousetrap, Serpens has arguably, and this, but though this is opinionated, the strongest B-League lineup that there is, because, I mean, they have some, they have some star, star players on there, so Serpents versus Night Vision, those two games will be massive contentions between the best teams across the divisions in the B-League, well, I, I, I hope that the Serpents versus Night Vision one will actually be tomorrow. <laughs> it might not yeah. be, but um, it's gonna be. It's gonna be really interesting. It's gonna be really good. I I am excited for B League this week for obvious reasons, hmm. but also the non-obvious reasons, as in it's fun seeing and casting and whatever. Yes, and I've got I mean, my own ulterior motives to root for certain teams, but you know, certain teams or serpentine. Eh, both. <laughs> I will okay. be a Serpentine supporter tomorrow. Well, as I was, I think, a couple days ago when they played. Yeah, I wonder why. Serpentine. Well, thank you. Those are the two B League games to look out for, although only one of them may actually be tomorrow because the other one's being rescheduled. But still keep an eye out. 9 p.m. EST, maybe 7 p.m. EST. B League, very good contending games. Look out for them. And uh, that concludes our one game stream today thank you for bearing with me and uh, my voice and Real. um i've been with dig of course and blue yes, on sir. stats though uh, without a voice of course because hey that's what happens when you're the stat boy i guess um and yeah that concludes the stream have a good rest of your day and i will see you all maybe the next time it is